Next is right against exploitation. That is no person, agency or government can exploit anybody. Now under this we have to remember that human trafficking is illegal. That is buying and selling of human beings for immoral purposes is prohibited under the law. Then child labor also has been banned. All the children below 14 years of age cannot be made to work in factories, mines and even at houses which means child labor is a crime. Then begar which has been practiced in India since centuries that is people are kept as bonded labor and they are made to work day and night without giving any money for their labor also is now prohibited. So right against exploitation is a right which allows a citizen to see that he is not exploited by anybody in any manner. And since it's a right, if ever you feel exploited, you can go and knock the doors of the court. The next right that we have is the right to freedom of religion. This right to freedom of religion has been guaranteed in the Indian constitution as we saw in Saudi Arabia that people can practice only Islam. But here in India, everybody is allowed to profess, propagate and practice any religion that you want to. Meaning to say that you can do propaganda of your religion, you can follow any religion that you feel is right and you can give money donations to your organizations. Nobody can stop you on all these things. But remember that practicing, propagating and professing a religion will not allow you to demean other religions. You have to respect all the religions and see that there are no such practices which actually become or make the society low in any way. For example, if a particular religion allows sacrifice of animals or human beings in the name of religion, then that will not be taken. If a religion allows that a woman is to be ill-treated, then that cannot be accepted by the law. So you can be propagating, professing and you can also change your religion if you feel like you are free to do it. But remember nothing which goes against the norms of the society. India is a secular country which means everybody is free to practice any religion and the state does not have any religion of its own which is in fact a great thing that any country can boast of. So there is no compelling from the government or an agency, government agency or an institution to actually give money, donation or propagate a particular faith. That is everybody enjoys harmony and one can live with one's own religion without any fear or disturbance.